What's going on guys and gals? Welcome to Red Ring Gaming. This is Levi. Hey guys, thought I'd switch up the uh, intro a little bit. Um, yeah, I just thought it'd be kind of whatever. Anyway, so when we last left off, I accomplished nothing. And I'm going to fix that because I went off recording and did a couple things. Namely, I fixed this. I don't know if you guys even noticed last time, but it was all weird and unlevel, so I fixed it. It's level now. Um, my house has a half story, I guess. I kind of just put like a little thing up here so I could begin working on a second um, level. And I also rearranged my stuff like I said I was going to, which I have yet to put everything back. But there we go. All right. So I'm going to pull this tungsten back out because I want to make another pickaxe because I'm, I think I can make a better pickaxe. Let me see what I've got. I'm going to keep these stars on me too because I'm going to make something out of those. Let's see. Um, oh yeah, it's everything I need. Okay. So I'm going to murder these slimes. See, this sword is so much better than my short sword. Like, you guys don't even know. Alright. Oh, yeah. Pickaxe. I'm gonna make a new pickaxe first, if I can. Alright. Uh. Yes. A tungsten pickaxe. 50% pickaxe power can mine meteorite. That's all I need to hear. Alright. New pickaxe. Yeah, that new pickaxe smell. It's still a uh, bad joke hour with Red Ring Gaming, get used to it. I'm just kidding, not really. I'm gonna try to stop that. I, I, know, I know it's not that funny, and it's kind of half the joke that I know it's not funny. Anyway, so, time to build another friend's room. Cause really, I mean, all they need is rooms. I mean, it says that that's their house, but you know, we too poor for extra houses around here. We too poor. All right. So, I'm just going to build up a little bit because I don't want them to have, like, a huge thing going on. Like, they can't have a better house than me, even though I don't really have a house. Alright, how am I... I'm going to do a quick count here. Let's see. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9-ish? Nine Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I need to go up one more. I goofed. I done goofed. Alright, there we go. One more. That's going to be fun to fix when I get over there. It's not going to be that big of a deal, actually, I think. Let me see. Oh, awkward connection. No. Now I have to break it. Let's see. I think I should not have done that. Alright, almost done. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Alright, fixed. Cool. I need some more wood walls really fast. Come on, where's it at? That's something weird I say really fast. I don't really know if that's something you guys say. But I'll say like, oh yeah, let me do that right fast or right quick or something. It doesn't really make any sense. And I say it. Um, I don't really know what that's about. It's just something I grew up saying. It's kind of weird. I know. <laughs> But, I mean, I don't know, I feel like if everybody kind of like took a second and stopped and thought about what they say and how they say it, that we all talk kind of weird. And I'm totally screwing these walls up. As you can see, there's a bunch of random walls hanging out of the top of the house, but that's fine. I will fix those in a second. Because I don't have time for that right now. Alright, what, what do I need? I need something to stand on. That is not what I had in mind, but whatever. Alright, hammer, we'll fix these. Just buff out these scratches. As my favorite TV show would say. No, I'm just kidding, it's not my favorite. So don't go around saying that SpongeBob's my favorite TV show, because it is definitely not. Anyway, so we're just gonna, you know, fix the house. And I messed up the house already. There we go. Cool. Fixed done 
Okay, so the house isn't really done. That was the wrong choice of words there. But I am well on my way now. I have the out sorry, I have the outside done. Alright, so what we're gonna do now need a lighting source. So there we go. There we go. Alright, so what I need now is I need to make some tables and chairs. Oh, that was the housing tab, which is important. We'll get back to that later. Alright, so all I need really is one chair and one table, I think. Alright, so I'm going to put a chair down, put a table down, get some torches in here so it's not dark. Yep, like literally as soon as I put that table down, a merchant arrived. Like, that's all you need. These little platforms count as doors, quote unquote doors, so that's why I'm able to make it work. Oh, and my controller died. Oh, come on. I don't show how many friends I have. I have 20 friends online. That's crazy. Anyway, I'm not really sure why my controller died. See, I have three bars of battery. That doesn't, whatever. Anyway, moving on. So we are going to see what the merchants got. I'm gonna get rid of some of my stuff because there I have a bunch of stuff I don't need. Namely this. Is there like a move to inventory button? No, of course not. That'd be too convenient. Okay, uh I don't need Oh I have to sell things of value. Like I don't need these. That's really it. Everything else has a use later. Or eventually. Okay, so let's sell that and that. I'll sell my little pick. Oh, I'm getting hit. God, I can't even use a menu without getting attacked. Alright, come here. Alright, I'll sell you. I'm not gonna sell you that. These are not for sale. Alright, I think I'm good. I'm gonna go over here now. And I need, I was gonna craft, oh yeah, more torches. That's what I need. Alright. So, we're good for a while. I'm gonna make a mana crystal if I can. I don't really know what's required for a mana crystal. So, there we go. Okay, so I need five. Yeah, they moved it because it was ten. So now it's five, which is really good. Alright. But I don't think I can use the mana crystal now. Oh, yeah, I can. Alright, cool. So, I just gained some magic. I can now cast spells that I learned. But, I don't have any spells. So, I can't cast any magic. Seems pretty straightforward there. No spells, no magic. Alright, we're good. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prep for a third floor. thought I had more wooden platforms than that. Yeah, because what you want to do when you start in Terraria World is you want to get as many um, people as you can to move in. Because they are very helpful. Alright, yeah, that's going to work. This is just how I do it. I mean, you don't have to do it this way. I mean, in one of my Terraria files, I actually have an individual house for every character. And that gets on Brian's nerves. Because, like I said before, he's pretty economical about the way he uh, makes houses for his people. I apologize if you can hear the uh, the button clicking on my controller. It's because I have the mic really close to my face. That's because I've been having trouble with it hearing me for some reason. And I'm using a... Oh, my merchant's getting attacked. Hold on. I'll continue that train of thought in a second. This poor guy over here is getting mobbed. Here, come back here piece of crap all right we're good I need those gels anyway because I wanted to have more torches later all right what was I saying uh something about oh yeah microphone so I have a blue snowball which is supposed to be a really good studio quality mic yet mine has very very hard time very hard times I, I don't need it I can't make a sentence tonight I'm sorry has a very hard time is what I'm trying to say picking up my voice which is really weird because it shouldn't because it's practically brand new I mean I bought it like a month ago 
I don't even know how many blocks this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's close enough. <laughs> seven, eight, close enough. That's how I count now. Seems to be working out for me. Alright, so we're going to top off the roof here. I'm pretty sure I said I wasn't going to make another house, but you know what? I've already started, so get over it. Alright, cool. I, I am going to stop after this one, though, because I want to get something else done today. Alright, so where is my... There we go. Wood walls. Now, this is definitely not going to be enough. If it's enough, I'm going to be surprised. Oh, actually, it might, because I'm able to jump over the wall, so... Oh, great. It's almost nighttime again. Uh, my next step after this, I'm going to try to make some armor, and then I'm going to prepare for the uh, IF Cthulhu, and if you guys have seen my PC playthrough of this game, you'll know that the uh, IF Cthulhu kind of got me. He got me pretty good, because um, he showed up basically uninvited, because he can do that, he can just kind of appear whenever he wants. I, I think you have there's like a certain stipulation behind it though like he only appears after you do something but I can't remember what that is it might be get a man or a heart crystal and I haven't got a heart crystal yet so I don't know if he'll show up or not and I really am not liking that wall that's a wall I could have used I have to make another trip now great yep I'm gonna have to make another trip that's fantastic Wasted all that wall up there. I'm sorry. I need to do a better job. Alright. Somebody used to say that to me. Do a better job. But I cannot remember. That was like something I said. Uh, one of my friends said in high school. Like we'd always like want help with something. And he'd just be like do a better job. And that would just like, that was our catchphrase in high school. We'd just be like, hey, do a better job. I cannot remember who said that. It might have been Brian. Uh, Brian, if you're watching this, help me out. I think you said it, but I'm not sure. One of my friends, though, he was always just like, do a better job. And it was like always something that like could not be done a better job. Like, I don't know, like somebody's like, I don't know, in the... I can't even think of... No, I was going to say that in the bathroom, but that never happened. Um, something that actually happened. I'm trying to remember. It's been so long. High school was like two years ago, almost. Not two. Well, the high school that I went to beforehand was two years ago. Because I switched high schools uh, in the last quarter of my junior year. But the high school that I went to with Brian was almost two years ago. And that's when we said it, because I didn't say it at Liberty. Or, oops, I just gave away my location. Oh well, who cares? Anyway, um, yeah, I never said it at my old school, or my second school. But I, I cannot remember for the life of me who that was. That's going to bother me all day, all day now. Sorry, guys. I know you probably don't care. But anyway, um, so... What else did we say in high school? Some other funny stuff. Oh yeah, we had um, I think it was because of, I think it was from how you met how how I met your mother, um, but we had this thing, where like, it was like the bro code, and I'm pretty sure that's from how you how I met your mother, but anyway, so we had this kind of bro thing, and there was a girl that was in our group of friends, and she was like, I'm a bro, and one of the guys was like, You're not a bro, you're a girl, and she was, and then we all kind of like looked at him. And he's like, dude, if she wants to be a bro, she can be a bro. Get over it. And that was really funny. We had we had a lot of moments of that. Like we would do like high fives and stuff, like bro five. And like people would be like, but that's a girl. And we're like, so? And your point is? Yeah, this is funny stuff like that. High school was really a silly time in our lives. I say that and it was like just last year. I'm talking about like I'm talking about junior year. I mean, yeah. Anyway, 
Sorry, I'm trying to entertain you guys with something funny to talk about, and I really hope that was entertaining. I thought it was pretty funny, but I mean, I've got my nostalgia blinders on. What do they call them? Nostalgia shield? I can't remember. Something on the internet. My, my brain is going a hundred different places right now. I apologize for not being able to stream together. That's, that's like a common theme, right? I feel like that is a common theme in Terraria for me. For this let's play of Terraria. I just I can't keep a, something going. Like it's just like everything I say is just weird. And I'm really sorry. Not doing it on purpose. I just I record at night a lot because it's easier for everybody in my household. And so I'm always kinda tired when I record this stuff and I'm really sorry. I mean if I was getting paid to do this, I would not be tired and it would be better, but you know, only cool people get paid for this. So I'm just stuck doing it as a hobby, which is fine. I mean I love I love doing this. I mean I do this stuff even though I know that I'm not gonna get a lot of views or a lot of likes because it's fun. I mean I think it's fun that somebody somewhere that I probably don't even know is gonna watch this and be like, hey, this guy's this guy's alright. And that'll make me feel good. And you can make fun of me if you want, and I don't care because I can't hear you. And if you comment, I can just delete your comment. No, I wouldn't do that. I, I'm really not like that. I mean, if you want to make a bad comment, whatever, you can be, you know, jerk, whatever. Anyway, I'm rambling, sorry. Alright, I was going to go explore over here, but um, I kind of already did off recording when I was gathering some wood. And uh, I kind of realized that the world kind of drops off over here. I mean, it doesn't normally, like, that's not normal for a Terraria world to just drop off. Um, usually it ends at the ocean. But I've actually have a world where it kind of just drops off. I'll show you, because I'm sure you guys may, may or may not believe me. But I will go ahead and show you. Because, hold on a second. Because I think it's something that you guys should see. Especially if any of you, any of you guys play Terraria. I don't know why I said it like that. If you guys play Terraria, um, then you will realize when I show you this that the world is not supposed to be like this. I mean, it can be. I mean, the world's randomly generated, so I mean, it, it can be like this, and it, it is, but you know, I've never seen it until now where the world just kind of drops off. I think I missed my jump. Oh, um, yeah, whatever. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, cool. These zombies are caught up over here. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, I'm stuck. Alright, cool. Demon eyes. God, oh, these demon eyes are so annoying. But I think I have enough lenses to fight the, uh, the boss now. Pretty sure I do. But anyway, I think this is it. Is this it? Yes. I built a little ledge right here, but the world just kind of drops off after this. Like, I don't really know what's down there, and I'm afraid to jump down there because I might die. I might get pushed down there by this eyeball. We will probably be seeing what's down there. God dang it. I'm gonna try to go down here. But I don't think it's good a good idea to do it right now. So I'm gonna head home right now. And I keep getting owned by these eyeballs. I might die. Oh wait, I have potions. I should not die. If I die, you guys have every right to laugh at me for dying because I have potions. I should I surely should make a bow and arrow. Bow and arrows are super useful. Especially flaming arrows. Like the flaming arrows just they do so much extra damage. Like that's how I defeated the uh the boss on my PC let's play. I just kinda had a bunch of flaming arrows and took them down. Oh I think I see a treasure chest. Hold on. Uh, I think I gotta make it. Come on. I have a hard time talking while I'm fighting, I guess if you haven't noticed. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah, stuff. Oh, a violent aglet. That'll be useful. I don't want to stay in a mini for too long. I might get killed again. Let's do a little underground exploring. Alright, instead of going home, I'm actually going to end the episode down here. And next episode, we're going to explore what's down here. Let me make sure. Yeah, I'm at 20 minutes. Okay. Alright, guys. Well, thank you for watching. This has been Red Ring Gaming, and my name is Levi. Uh, we will see you next time. 
and stay tuned for our underground mining experience. Later!